hope you guys are doing well so I'm gonna try to speak as fast as possible but still clear um this tutorial is simply like a get ready with me so you just kind of get with me and kind of you know stay with me through the process and just to see how I came about this look so I'm just gonna start by finishing up my eyebrows um I had it filled in um, with the powder yeah I had a powder from my morphe palette so I filled out my eyebrows and I filled in my eyebrows I'm sorry and I'm gonna go ahead and just clean it up real quick with my LA Girl Pro Concealer and I believe this shade is toast I'm gonna go ahead and apply a foundation to my entire face now this is Mac NW 48 I believe in the studio fix um, range let's start with the eyes so I'm gonna start with my next tumor pencil in the shade milk and I'm gonna be using that on my lid and blending that out once that's done I'm gonna go in with the shades I'm showing you guys from my Juvia's Place palette on and now I'm trying to create a cut crease look sort of using my Eligo Pro Concealer in the shade I think dark cocoa if I'm not wrong I'm gonna create the definition I need on the lid and I'm gonna set that with just any normal either translucent or face powder Now I'm going in for a gold eye look so I'm going in with that gold shade I just showed you guys from my Juvia's Place palette and I'm going to use that exactly wherever I use the concealer so I'm just going to go over that same definition I created. Now I'm just going to set underneath my brow bone. Now in my inner tear duct, just to have a more, you know, wake up look, I'm going to be using that, you know, I'm um, going to be using that shade I just showed you guys. I'm sorry, this is what I'm going to be saying the whole time because I can't remember the names, but I'm going to make sure I list them down for you, okay? Um, now let's go back to the face and we'll finish up later. So, um... So using my LA Girl Pro Concealer <laughs> in the shade Almond, I'm going to be using that to highlight today. So the usual places, um, and we're not going to bake for too long, so we're going to brush this real quick so I don't have no um, flashbacks and all that. I'm probably not going to be baking too long with that. Now back to the eye. I'm using my ELF Black Gel Liner. And I'm going to be using that on my lower lash line and also to create my wing line as well. Now let's clean up the powder and finish up this look. So now I'm going to try to contour and I'm using my Black Opal Stick Foundation in the shade Co Co I never get this right, Corrup, Corrup, Co whatever that sounds like, that's what I'm talking about. And I'm going to blend that in with my blended sponge, then set it up with my City Color um, Contour Powder. I'm sorry guys I lost a lot of my clips so I'm gonna be 
trying to explain that or give you guys a hint here and there but I'm definitely gonna put anything you might be wondering about down in the description box I'm just using my powder to give me more of a definition with a contour so that's all you're seeing right here and I'm just brushing that off as well Using the shades I use in the crease, I'm going back with that to use underneath the lower lash line just to give me more of a smoked out, not too noticeable, but smoked out look. So now I'm just going to line my lips and finish up the lips and I'll put every information down like I said. So guys, this look is done and for highlight and everything else that was lost in the clips, I'll put them down in the description bar. I hope you guys like this look. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to give me that thumbs up. Don't forget to ask questions. Don't forget to do everything. I hope to see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye.